This Is Me by Jamie Lee Curtis and illustrated by Laura Cornell. And it's the story of who we are and where we came from. And it starts off getting from here to there through the ages. My great-grandmother came from a far distant place. She came on a boat with just this small case. Great-grandmother left her family and friends to cross the great sea and to land at the end. Her parents informed her she had no say. Tomorrow we leave for a place far away. So fill up your case with the things you love. Love best. Sadly, you'll have to leave all the rest. So they gathered up their very favorite things. Did she wear all her clothes? To leave her more space? Could her family album lift in this case? I know she took ribbons and some things to eat and shoes when they said to take care of her feet. Her whole family tree, pen and pencil set, one writing journal, a comb and barrette, great-great-grandma's necklace, her own homemade doll, that she clutched on her journey when she felt very small. How did she do it? What would you take? Would you be scared that you would make a mistake? How would you know in this case what to pack and that once you had left, there would be no coming back? So you my dear class, have big choices to make. When you bring this case home, what will you take? I couldn't take paintings or diglets, my rat, or trophies from school book or school books or dad's hand carved bat. It takes lots of photos and a doll my Graham sewed and my first in-line ticket to Katie's first show. What would you take if you had a choice of things to pack? My punk rocker, Barbie, because my mom was one too. My barely stuffed bear, Oh, Winnie the Pooh? Oh, what am I going to take? I don't know. I don't know. Alberto's barrette? My ukulele? My St. Christopher medal to look out for me? Oh, what do I take? What would you take if you had to pack? My U.S. passport. That makes me feel free. My Nintendo DS with my favorite luggy. Oh, my signed Harry Potter, my baby tooth tin, my aunt's high school class ring, my dad's navy pin. Oh, what can I take? I don't know. My Groucho Mark glasses, Weird Al's signed CD, my Notre Dame jersey, my karate gi. Oh, what do I take? I don't know. Legos, a camera to film what I leave. If this really happened, it would be hard to believe. Oh, the things that you could only pack in a suitcase. But I'd be so excited with all that was new. People and things to meet and to do. Great work, Ellen, for time that you took. This suitcase is like your own history book, Elaine.
For who you all are isn't just what you've got, but part of what you learn, part what you're taught. Who you become starts with your past, family history and stories that last. Do you ever sit around and get family stories? This great tide that brought you seeds ancestors sowed that took root inside you and helped you grow. Do you have a lot of ancestors? You can always trace them. Now you take this case and imagine it's true that you're leaving and needing to choose what says you. What would you take which things would you be? What say to the world? Hi, there, this is me. What would you take if you had to travel and never come back? This is me. What priceless possessions would you take? Do you know? Think about it. Take today, grab a suitcase, and pack only the things that are most precious to you that you would take on your trip if you weren't returning to your home, that you were going to a new land, a new place. What things would you take? Think about it. See you next time. Bye.